Good evening. People who use illegal drugs in Scotland should be able to take them under medical supervision in so-called fix rooms. That's the recommendation from the team running a similar project in Denmark, where they say it's saving lives and cutting crime. The proposal is also supported by the Scottish Government, but so far that idea is being blocked by the UK Government. It comes as a recent rise in HIV figures in Glasgow city centre has reignited the debate about creating a safe space for drug users. A senior reporter, Gordon Cree, has been to Copenhagen to see how it works. And a warning, his report contains images of drug taking from the start. This man is injecting heroin, an addiction which claims lives the world over. But here in Denmark, he's taking it in a place of relative safety. This is a drug consumption room in Copenhagen's once notorious red light district. Another user told me that without this facility, she wouldn't be alive. I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones, let me say like that, you know? If you do a apartments and you get overdose, they just rub you. And here, they, they, they save life 110%. Since this place opened seven years ago, drugs have been taken here more than a million times. But because of the safety precautions on hand, despite there being around 800 overdoses, there hasn't been a single death. The drug consumption room is right next to one of the city's main police stations. And the man who runs it says those responsible for law enforcement support their approach. This actually also helps the police because the police before got a lot of calls from, you know, uh, people, hey, there are standing two drug users in our uh, backyards, uh, come and, uh, and, and get them out. You know, all these calls are gone because now the users are not doing drugs in public, they're doing it in the drug consumption. Denmark used to deal with the cycle of addiction as a largely criminal matter. Now it's treated as a health problem with support workers here closely linked with access to housing services and programmes to get people off drugs. Like in Scotland, there was significant political debate when this place was first proposed, but at Parliament, in the corridors of power, most major parties now see the benefits. To go into the room with uh, illegal stuff and have some uh, nurse to help you to inject uh, uh, stuff, in your body, and that we think is a wrong signal. But now we can see it has been there for several years, and in the area, they, uh, the citizens uh, are happy for it. They see that uh, there's not so many needles on the ground floor anymore. There's not so many people sleeping in the doors. Now one of the founders is working on the next stage, a network of mobile injection rooms to visit the areas in most need of them. And he says it's this method Glasgow should be looking at. The best solution um, to, um, to create better safety for drug users and a better community is, is, more, is, is, is smaller units around the city. Uh, drug users is all around town. Perhaps there is an, an open drug scene. Of course you need more units there. But, but don't create one big, uh, the drug users is a difference and you and me. So, so we, need, we need more facilities around the, around the city. What's been done here all started with a simple mantra. If people are going to take drugs, better they take them somewhere they can be helped if it goes wrong. So far, it seems to be paying off. Gordon Cree, STV News, Copenhagen. Well, Gordon joins us now and, and clearly the drug consumption rooms have had a big impact. Yes, they have. Look, nothing's going to prepare you for going into a room where you see people injecting drugs. People are so desperate to get this stuff into their body, it's become their reason for being. But when I was there, there was a surprisingly calm atmosphere. There were support workers and medically trained staff on hand. And the effectiveness of that is borne out by the safety record they have. And it's important, too, to say this only deals with one part of the drug problem, the taking of the drugs. Things like ensuring there are clean needles and that there are ways to manage a situation where someone has an overdose. But the manager was keen to stress to me that they have access to treatment services if they want them. After all, getting people off of drugs is the ideal outcome. So what's the chance of seeing something like this in Scotland? 
Well, the debate here has centred around Glasgow, although drugs are clearly something that affects every corner of the country. Glasgow City Council is strongly in favour of a drug consumption room. The Scottish Government is supportive too. But the legislation around this is devolved to Westminster. Now, in the wake of figures which have shown a rise in HIV in the centre of Glasgow, possibly linked to sharing needles, a group of charities have called for regulation to be devolved. It's important that I think the decisions around this are made by the local community and in Glasgow we've seen a real need for there to be a drug consumption room to deal with the, not only the outbreak of HIV but the, the increased levels of drug deaths that we've seen and everyone has the human right to life and it's only with having this drug consumption room in Glasgow which both the Glasgow City Council and the Health Board want to happen and the only barrier in the way is the UK Government. So what are the arguments against it, Gordon? Well, the Home Office position, and this has been reinforced in a letter to one of the Glasgow MPs that I've seen, is that the current legal framework doesn't allow for drug consumption rooms in the UK and that they have no plans to bring them in. Now, the two main arguments that have been put forward in every country that's looked at this are, should the state be encouraging or helping people to do something that's ultimately illegal? And what's the impact on the area where the facility is sited and the local community? Now, on legality, we saw in Denmark that the political party that took that position has now accepted that if the alternative is drugs being taken in the street or in flats where there's a risk of death, then it makes more sense for them to be taken somewhere that's safe and manageable. They've also found that the presence of a drugs consumption room tends to clean up the local area. And one of the reasons for this new call for mobile units is that prevents people travelling to a central facility and bringing a drug problem with them. All right, thanks for that, Gordon. And there'll be more on this story on Scotland tonight.